sign those permit to work tags off, Jeff. I'm on the production deck. Where's Bob? Yeah, a JCP alarm. Looks like the flash drum's knocked out. We'll have to get A-pump going again. I'm going to uh, I've got a gas alarm in C module. Low-level gas. Zone three. And one of the centrifugal compressors has tripped. That's two gone now. Another gas detector. That's a third compressor. Now we're really in the shit. Try the radio again. Where are you? Have you got to the pumps yet? Can you hear me? You'll have to shout. They've all gone down. C module east, I think. I don't know. I'll have a look. Jeff! Jeff, you okay? I'm fine, I think. Where are you? Oh, shit! There's supposed to be bloody emergency lighting in there. All the telemetry's out. Phones, too. Mayday! Mayday! This is MD Lowland Cavalier standing off Piper Alpha. Explosion and fire on oil production platform Piper Alpha. All vessels. Silver Pit launching fast rescue craft. I feel the floor lift. I feel like I've got a foot. <sighs> what now? Hey, you got up top to the galley. They'll get you up to the helideck when the chopper's coming. That's the drill. I'll see you up there. Where are you going? Fire team mate muster in the mech shop down on 83 foot level. Yeah, hey, but going down doesn't seem like a good idea. Hi, hey, well, someone's got to do it. Anyway, there's no been a fire alarm. Huzzah. Oxy HQ. This is a Theros semi-submersible standing off Piper Alpha production platform. There has been an explosion on Piper Alpha. Looks like there might be an evacuation. Please inform Grampian Police and Maritime Rescue Coordination Centre. <coughs> mayday, mayday. We're abandoning the radio room. We're abandoning the radio room. We can't take any more. We're on fire. This is Tartan Platform calling Claymore. Tartan calling Claymore. Do you read me? Do you have contact with Piper Alpha platform? Do you read me? Over. Get in here, quick! Shut that door! You're letting more smoke in! It's buckled! It won't! Get, get a towel over your face like this! No, you've got to get it wet and keep checking those cabins. Anyone in there? We've got to get everyone up to reception. Into reception on the galley. <coughs> is that is that right, Mr. Walker? There's a right flame here. right on the side of the floor. <coughs> Follow me! There at the heavy, what can you see? Huge plume of smoke. Dense black smoke. Coming from the southeast corner, blowing right across the platform. Down, man. It's bare on the floor. Oh, 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 these lights can't see anything anyway. Yeah. Steady now, keep calm. I think when they spent a billion dollars on this crate, the emergency lights might have lasted more than 15 minutes. Bobby! Bob! Come here! Hey, you're, you're far crew, aren't you? Uh -huh. Not that it's much use with sod all coming out of the hoses. And what the hell's happened to the deluge system? Well, there's divers down, so it's on manual. Oh, that's great. The switches are on the pumps, aren't they? Listen. Uh, there's a couple of BA sets in reception. If we could get down there. Okay. Shit! This stuff's active. What's burning here? The towel, man. Breathe through the towel. Let me out. I can't stand this. It's a bloody inferno out there. It was better than we here to die. Someone said it could be hydrogen sulfide and all this. And worse. Did you get it through the kitchen? No way. No way. Harry Calder went. <laughs> I'm fouler with him. I told him they were mad. We've got to try and get up to the helideck. There's no chance. Who's that? Who the hell's in charge here? I mean, what are you supposed to be doing? Just wait, man. Hang on, they'll get us off. So da. I've already tried doing what we're supposed to do. Lifeboats? Can't get near them. I mean, either. They were smashing windows down on A-deck. Still couldn't get to them. Oh, so it's Piper just... Alpha Galley. We're in the galley. Over. Can anybody hear me? Did you get anyone? Ten minutes ago. Just Robbie Carroll in the control room. Thank you. Okay, you'll get off if everyone keeps calm. For Christ's sake, that was one of the rises gone. The whole lot's gonna go in a minute. Come on, Bob. 
Let's go. It's going to get desperate if we don't get up there soon. Where are you going? Up. Got to get to the fire pump. Well, you, you can't. It's not up there. Jeez. Got to dampen it down somehow. Come on, Bob. The foot of the leg over there. There's men in the water. And we're coming down that rope. Look. That little beacon platform. Help! Help me! Bloody hell, you nearly ran down. Get the boat hook. Here. Uh. You OK? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where do you come from? Jumps. Couldn't get up to the lifeboat. The whole production deck's on fire. Don't open uh, the bloody doors! Uh, no uh, one's coming, mate! We've got to get down and get below the fire! You'll have to get him closer. Here! Come on, here! Sod it! Anybody coming? Oh, God! Oh, God! Fool, come on! Come on, he's got his hands locked on. Let go of the net! Let go, we can't get you on board! This is madness. Drag an injured man at the side. And can somebody try and fix that bloody searchlight? Well, it's no good staying here. we got to try and get down. You're mad! we got to stay up here. Wait for the choppers. I'll never get in and all this smoke. Look, he's eased up a bit. Over there, eh? I'm getting out the way I came in. Look, there's an emergency ladder over there. Could be a way down to the pipe deck. Who's coming? I'm in. And me. Come on then, let's go. You're bloody mad, you lot. Hey! Hey, that off! That off! Come on, hear us from up here. Wife, then. Wife, come on. Hey, up here. Hey! They can't see us either. Not in a smoke. I've got the water cannon on. If they see us, they'll spray over here. They'll never. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. They've done it. Oh, oh. Thank God. Get your face in the water before they move on. Are they coming? The helicopters. You're the radio op, aren't you? We sent maydays. They'll come when they can. What? And put down here? With a cash netting and fire? We're right on top. <coughs> it only needs the wind to ship. <coughs> More chaps. I'm going down again. Well, don't go back in the galley, for God's sake. <coughs> it's the black hole of Calcutta in there. <coughs> No way. I've already seen two or three drop dead inside there. Come on! Just jump. Let go of the rope. Well done. Now, you two, quick, before the whole lot comes down. That's it. Well done. OK, let's get out of here. Under that table, yeah. Look. Uh, some room up there, guys. Oh, for Christ's sake! Get in here. Oh, it's so bloody hot. <laughs> Don't speak. Just in. In. Keep awake. Come on. Don't. Come on. I can't swim. OK, well, just swing down on the rope, then. I'll not let you go in. And that's it. Stop! No, stop! We're caught! We've got ropes tangled on the A-frame. I'll let you clear them. Someone, I'm trapped. Well, knacker, there's no way out of this. I can't. The whole bloody thing's falling down. At least it'd be cool in the sea, eh? Harry, shake my hand. Don, just shake my hand, Harry. I can't get this bloody foot. Whoever, I mean, if I get out of this, what am I getting out of this, Harry? Come on, let's at least try and get to the edge. There's no point. Come on, man. Tell him, mate. It's better than staying here. 
Okay, honey. Oh, come on. They keep low. Nowhere. Get up, Ian. Run. I can't even shoes on Ah! Oh. Don't touch his fights. Jump, man. Jump. Okay, okay. And the cross line jacket. Hold no. We are on fire. <laughs> I can't see! Here, for Christ's sake! I'm over here! Someone get up to the bridge! We need some light down here! How many you got? Two on board! One's bad! Only two! You can't see them! Everything's orange! There's planes everywhere! From the platform! And there's burning oil on the sea! Are they bad? Everything's bloody orange! You can't see the life jackets! It's bad! And anyway, where are all the solid lifeboats? Are they bad? This one might be dead, and the other one's got his clothes all burnt off. How the hell are we going to get them up there? It's crazy down there. It's crazy up here, mate. This is the bloody standby vessel, isn't it? There are men down there in agony with their burns, and we can't even get them into a cabin. There's bulkheads and stairs. It's just bloody ridiculous. Ah, it's all ridiculous. I mean, look at it. It's unreal. Your medic's a bit overwhelmed down there. How could you ever expect anything like this? Are they still finding men alive? Uh, a few, but they're having trouble seeing them. The bloke that just went down below said he'd been shouting for 20 minutes. Shouting? Maybe we could hear someone. I, I mean, someone shouting for help. Get the skipper to cut the engines for a bit. Worth a try. Ladies and gentlemen, today, the 19th of January, 1989, marks the opening of part one of my inquiry, the Cullen Inquiry, into the circumstances of the accident on Piper Alpha and its cause. I have been given the responsibility of reporting to the Secretary of State on the circumstances of the accident and its cause, together with any observations and recommendations which I think fit to make with a view to the preservation of life and the avoidance of similar accidents in the future. When you went first on to Piper Alpha, Mr. Ralph, were you given a safety induction training on arrival at the platform? Not on this occasion, when I arrived there, but I did have one many years ago, about 10 years ago, when I first went to Piper. Had you any repeat safety induction on arrival at the platform on any of your other tours of duty? No. Eventually, was there a further massive explosion on the platform? There was a heap of them. Did you see the platform begin to disintegrate? She melted away, yes. Did you see the accommodation quarters going? Yes. Tell us what happened. W when she became just a ball of flames all over, the derrick was one of the last things to collapse to the north. And then after that, she was really just a towering inferno. 
you could see the north side of the thing just going into the water. The north side just collapsed into the water? Just slowly. It melted away. In my considered opinion, Occidental can have been in no doubt as to the grave consequences for the platform and its personnel in the event of a prolonged high-pressure gas fire. A memo dated the 18th of March 1988 stated that structural integrity could be lost within 10 to 15 minutes if a fire was fed from a large pressurised hydrocarbon inventory. A property loss prevention report to Occidental dated the 14th of October 1986 commented on the pipelines to and from the platform. Further, in 1987, Occidental's Loss Prevention Department prepared a preliminary report which described various scenarios which could weaken the platform's structural steel support members and the means of firefighting in each case. One of these was an oil or gas riser rupture. In the case of a rupture on the pipeline side of the emergency shutdown valve, the ESV, no direct action could be taken on the platform to stem the flow of hydrocarbon. These passages, from reports to Occidental themselves, could be used to describe what happened in the disaster. A total of 61 of the personnel of Piper survived the event. Their evidence was heard at the inquiry. In the light of that evidence, it can be seen that they escaped from the platform in the following ways. 27 descended by rope from the 68-foot level to the 20-foot level. 7 climbed down a rope or hose from the 68-foot level or a navigation platform below it and dropped into the sea. Five jumped off the 68-foot level or the platform just below. One jumped off a roof beside the drilling derrick. Fifteen jumped off at the level of the pipe deck, 131 feet. And five jumped off at the level of the heli deck, 175 feet. Sixteen of the deceased from Piper were recovered from the surface of the sea. Thirty-eight were recovered from the seabed. And eighty-one were recovered from inside the accommodation. Thirty persons from Piper remain missing and should be presumed to have died on the 6th of July as a result of the disaster. Two members of the crew of the Sandhaven's fast rescue craft also died.